Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a little bit of extraction of colors and images using K-means and also a little process, image processing with CV2. But also the CV2 is going to also be used in conjunction with K-means for extracting colors, as you can see right here. I passed the 9 for the parameter, and this is the colors it extracted. However, y'all's picture, if you guys want to find the best K and K, you guys might want to apply one of my other videos for using that on tabular and text data to this. If you guys want to, you know, make a very good data science project and apply that to here with how I'm going to show you and then apply the correct parameter for K to your image as well. And then this is it converted. This is the original image, the African rock python. You guys can use any image you guys want. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I've got a lot of videos before we get started. I've got basically the full stack of data science. It's more on the technical machine learning engineer side with cloud deployments, ML pipelines, microservices with uh, data science and AI. Uh, you name it, I got it. Check out my channel. I got reinforcement learning as well. A lot of SageMaker deployments, both models ML pipelines, getting models approved for production, serving predictions, various SageMaker models, all kinds. I've even got Google Cloud and Azure deployments. You guys name it, convolutional neural networks. I've got another one for image processing as well. And I've got two for K-Means. I've even got a K-Means SageMaker deployment. So check out my other videos. Reinforcement learning, NLP, NLTK. I got it. This is the full stack of data science, just so you guys know. But I'm trying to get more on the data science side lately than the machine learning engineering technical side. You know, taking a break from the cloud. I even got a database video, two of them. One for GCP and one for AWS with Redshift. Too much to tell. Just check out my channel. I've got a, a nearly 120 videos. Anyways, guys, import these libraries right here. Read the file path. And you guys can use a Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook. It doesn't matter. Or another text editor. Okay. And then, guys, for y'all's images, if you guys are very serious about this, I want you guys to look up color codes because what we're trying to do is detect colors in the boundaries and get the pixel percentage. So you guys might want to see what you see in there, get the color codes and play with this a little, but look them up because we're going to convert them into numbers. And then there's the color one and color two. So change this accordingly if you guys are very serious about this, but apply all this. What you guys are going to need to change is these two. Okay. Everything else, leave it the way it is. And then um, let's get started. The image. Pass this right here, change those as I talked about, leave this the same. What we're trying to do is set the boundaries. For lower and upper in the boundaries, lower, and then D, and because we're comparing them to NumPy arrays. And then the mask, the image, lower and upper, as you can see up here, the output bitwise image of the mask equals mask, ratio, and then we're doing a little math right there and then get the pixel percentage. MP round function, the ratio times 100, 2, show the mask. We got, I wasn't very serious about that. You guys got to change that up here to what you do and uh, look up the RGB also. Okay, there's the image when it's converted. Okay, copy the image. Okay, and then there's it uh, at a different size. You guys, if you guys are new, new to Matplotlib, you can change that right here to have it a different size displayed. Okay, we're going to reshape times this times this, K equals 9. If you guys want to get serious about this, apply my other two videos, you know, with finding the best K and K for tabular data and text data. Apply it to this, finding the best K and K. See my other two videos. 
and then uh, pass the correct parameter. Or you guys can go with your gut, which is what I did. I didn't feel like it. Okay. And then uh, nine, and it came out well. Sometimes your gut is the best instinct, and it'll save you a lot of trouble. Or you can just play with it a little. Anyways, arrange on uh, this index the CLT labels. We're going to make a histogram, MP histogram, converted to NumPy arrays. Label the index as type of float, hist, hist, sum. There we go. And then the histogram bar is the MP zeros at the size, the D type, unt eights. Import CV2 and start X is zero. And then for the percent and colors, we're going to use the zip function. We're going to times it times 300, the percent in the four function. And then the CV2 rectangle is the histogram bar with the integer of start X, which is 300. As you can see, the integer and X, 50, and then as type unt a two list negative one. Start X equals end X. Apply this just, and then we're gonna show with the matplotlib, the histogram bar. As you can see, there's the colors. We can even change that if you guys want, you know? And then there's the image again on the init displayed. Anyways, guys, like I told you, uh, check out my channel. I've got nearly everything. Uh, I've even got another image processing uh, video, you know, using, um, you know, uh, not only NumPy and CV2, and then we're going to create filters, contours, all kinds of stuff. See my other video. And then see my other video for convolutional neural networks using TensorFlow. We use TensorFlow a lot on this channel. Um, and if you guys want me to do a certain video, I will. Uh, just leave a comment. I get enough comments if it's something cloud-related like if it's, I got GCP deployments, those are kind of expensive. So when I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do an ML pipeline using KServe to serve predictions. Google Cloud gets expensive if you guys use that for work. Anyways, guys, um, uh, I might get back on Azure Cloud when I get to 10,000 subscribers as well. Anyways, guys, anything that's not cloud related, I can probably do it right away. If it's cloud related, it depends. Um, I was thinking when I get to 5,000 subscribers to do image classification using SageMaker. That's what I was thinking about doing. Uh, that is very possible at 5,000 subscribers. If I get 10,000 subscribers and enough views, probably. I can do a Google Cloud ML Pipeline. Serving predictions on uh, there can get expensive. Anyways, guys, I got another video on GCP using BigQuery as well. I've got deployments of ML and deep learning models, um, as well as post requests to serve predictions. Anyways, guys, check out my channel. There's probably something you need if you guys are already here. Um, be sure to share my videos with anyone you might think might need them. Um, this is the full stack of data science. Eventually, I'm going to get to Django as well. Um, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe if you like. And uh, share with anyone you might think might need any of this. Check out my channel. This is the full stack of data science, like I said before. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you learned from my tutorial. And like I told you, uh, change this accordingly to your image if you guys are serious about this. And if you guys are serious about it, like I mentioned... Find the best K and K or play with this uh, parameter a little. But uh, for finding the best K and K, check out my other two K means videos, tabular and text data, and apply it to here. This will make a good project.
Anyways, guys, till next time. Thank you. Bye.